Hi, this is Justin Elliott over at Jim McNatt Toyota doing a competitive comparison on the Prius and the Insight. Right here we have a brand new Honda Insight. Next to it we have a brand new Toyota Prius. I tried to get the most fully loaded up ones I could. The Prius is a package 4, uh, not the package 5, but it does have almost every option possible. The only options that are not on this one is going to be the solar roof package and the technology package. This one does have the nav. The inside I got the EX with nav so you can kind of compare apples to apples. Depending on what you're looking for, you may find that the Prius is a better vehicle or the Insight's a better vehicle for you. Price difference, if you're on a budget, the Insight's the way to go. You can get into a fully loaded up one for low 20s, where a fully, fully loaded uh, Prius will cost you low 30s. But if you're willing to spend that extra money, you get a lot of amenities and a little bit more comfortable ride, in my opinion. As you can see, Insight has alloy wheels on it. It's a sporty looking vehicle. They've come a long way from the first one with the plastic uh, panels over there on the covering over the rear wheels. I'm just going to walk you around the vehicle so you can see a little bit about it and then I'll go to the Prius next for you. I'm going to pop the trunk so you can see the trunk space on both, both vehicles. Um, as you can see, they both come with the uh, rear wiper on the back. And both of them are very similar as far as to when you're looking in the rear view mirror, they both have a split window, which is kind of tough to get used to. Keyless entry, it's all on the key right here, so you don't have to have a separate remote and a separate key on it. When you pop the hatch on this one, you notice that you get a decent amount of storage space. It doesn't go up very high, but you can fit some stuff in there, some golf clubs, um, a couple suitcases if you want to. Underneath here, you have the spare tire, all your tools. You gotta take that foam out. They put that on there for insulation to keep it a little bit quieter. I'm gonna show you the back seat on the vehicle. Now right here in the back, not a ton of leg room, but you can fit a couple people in there comfortably as long as they're not very tall. This is with the driver's seat all the way back. As you can see the floorboard on it, it's gonna be flat. That's so if somebody does sit in the middle seat, they don't have to have their knees up around their neck on it. There's an armrest right here. I'm sorry, there isn't an armrest right there. The seat on it folds down almost flat. Let's say you can put some more stuff in there and it's a 60-40 split. So you can do either have two people sitting right here and have this side down, have the whole thing down, or have one person there and the bigger side down. Now when you get up on the inside of the vehicle, you're going to notice a couple main differences between the two. One other thing is the inside has the blinkers right there on the uh, side view mirrors. Now inside here you have your power windows, power door locks. It has a nice looking interior. Um, first thing you notice is the big green economy button when you get in there. That's going to save you some fuel economy. And they do that to help the drivers get the best bang for their buck out of this vehicle. One of the first things I noticed is driving the inside is going to be quite a bit noisier than the Prius. You hear a lot of the road noise on it. Um, just hit the navigation, it's all touch screen right there. If you look right here, you'll have all your radio controls on your steering wheel. Cruise controls right there on the steering wheel. Place for your Bluetooth and your information. Shows you the outside temperature. Information display tells you whether you're getting the gas or the uh, battery running in the vehicle. Average speed, elapsed time, range, um, miles per gallon. This gives you a uh, previous history from your miles per gallon. An eco guide depending on how good you're doing when you're driving it. Back to a blank screen. Now the eco button is going to give you a little bit less power but better fuel economy. One thing that the Insight does have is the paddle shifters right here so you can shift up and down like a manual transmission without using a clutch. You have the traction control right here. The speedometer is right up here on the top. They do that so you don't have to take your eyes off the road. You do have the electronic temperature control. You have your power outlet down here along with an auxiliary outlet for an iPod or MP3 player. Storage area right here. 
and smaller glove box right here. The screen opens right up. Then you have a place for a PC card, a CD player, and this for your navigation disc. This is the same kind of uh, navigation system that you see in the Civics. It's a very good system, user friendly. Uh, it's all voice activated, easy to use. Um, fuel economy, 40 mile city, 43 on the highway. MSRP 23810. So as you can see, you do save quite a bit of money if you end up going the route on the Insight. Right here on the dash, the last thing is you can see where it will assist in the charge for your battery, uh, fuel, tachometer. Everything's right there in front of you, very easy to get to. Very nice vehicle. Now as we go over to the Prius, This one has the alloy wheels, but it does have the wheel covers that go over the top of them. To, it's supposed to be giving you a little bit better fuel economy and deflect some air off that. Underneath those wheel covers right here are the alloys underneath though. Now this one has the, th uh, it comes with all doors for the smart key. As you can see already in the back, you get a lot more leg room in this one. Um, armrest on this one comes right down with some cup holders in the middle of it. The seat folds down. On this one it's almost flat also. There's a vent right here for your battery in the back. All of the windows on this one are automatic. Where it's just the driver's side on the uh, Insight. This one has the rear view camera. So if you put it in reverse you don't have to worry about running anything over. This is the tonneau cover right here in the back. You're going to get some more storage right here underneath, so that way you can put some more stuff in there. Cargo room is similar, I think it's a little bit more on the Prius. Not a lot, but a little bit. Now with the key on this vehicle, you'd never have to take it out of your pocket. This is called the smart key. If the door is locked, like that, I'm just going to put it right back in my pocket. When you walk up to the vehicle and put your hand on the door, it unlocks automatically for you. And as you can see, like I said before, all of the windows are automatic. You have manual seats. It doesn't come with the power, but it does have power lumbar on it. You have the power mirrors right here. Now, big difference is you never take your key out, like I said. Just put your foot on the brake, push the power button, and now the vehicle is started. As you can see, you can't hear anything. Um, it's running right off the electric right now. You have your volume controls right here, um, trip meter, temperature, you can see the uh, gas motor just kicked in, uh, voice command, Bluetooth, cruise controls right here. Now this is a new technology also, when you put your finger just on this little button a little bit, you can see where it is. Without pushing the button, this little display comes up right here and it will show you what, you know, what button you're on. And then as soon as you let go, it goes back to your normal display. Now this shows you your charge meter, uh, consumption over a period of time, uh, past trip meter, A and B. It will go to an energy monitor that will show you uh, where your, as you can see the gas motor is going to the electric motor which is charging the battery. And system indicator where depending on how hard you're stepping on the gas it will go power or charge if you're hitting the brakes takes a little bit of getting used to on this vehicle where it will shut itself off and turn it back on. You have the touchscreen nav on this one, um, AM FM CD player, push this little button right here and the screen folds up just the same. As you can see you have your CD changer right there, automatic climate control, parking brake, or the when you put it in park it's just this little button right here, the parking brake is located down there by your feet. You have EV mode, which is total electric, eco mode, and power mode in this one. Cup holders, storage, uh, glove box, and another one right there. MSRP on this one is just over 31000 but your fuel economy is 51 and 48 Hopefully you learned a little bit about the Prius and a little bit about the Insight. Um, I'll be happy to send you any other videos. Once again, my name is Justin Elliott with Jim McNatt Toyota in Denton, Texas.